Tonight, big talk of change threatening a big Kansas City company. The North American Free Trade Agreement, signed in 1994 to boost trade between Mexico, the U.S. and Canada, has come under fire from President Trump. Now we'll look at how that could affect trains running straight through Kansas City every day. At 9 every morning, a Kansas City Southern train chugs its way from Kansas City to Mexico. We once branded ourselves the NAFTA Railroad. Uh, so we are very closely associated with Mexico and they still offer passenger service. But Kansas City Southern CEO Pat Ottensmeyer is now at a big crossing. Your husband signed NAFTA, which was one of the worst things that ever happened. Between a president with tough talk on Mexico. Main track and all tracks are back in service. From and a railroad sending 40% of its total business. And he's got 19,179 tons. Across the border. We are so closely associated with, uh, with Mexico that we were singled out by one uh, financial journalist the night of the election as the number one com uh, company, publicly traded company in the U.S. that would be negatively affected by a Donald Trump victory. I look very much forward to being your president. We lost a billion dollars of market cap the next day. I don't think he's right. In fact, the railroad marked record revenues to start 2017. Rather than terminating NAFTA, also Which seeing Donald Trump back off plans to scrap system. NAFTA after calling it a total disaster. But there's still talk of a wall and tariffs. We think it costs something like 15 to 20 cents a bushel to remove the demand of Mexico. Currently there are soybeans in this bin. Farmers could lose up to $40 per acre of corn or soybeans if they didn't get processed at Ray Carroll Cooperative's Quarter Missouri facility and get onto a Kansas City Southern train headed to Mexico. Certainly we're concerned that, and uh, we want to see NAFTA continue in a positive form. Ottensmeyer does too. I get more and more confident that there is going to be a reasonable resolution to the uh, trade and the NAFTA discussions. Working every day to keep trains from Kansas City moving strong. So this is vitally important to us, but it's important to our customers. Ottensmeyer is now in charge of a group of cross-border CEOs pushing both countries to find common ground on trade.